right, we all know that uh, robots can smuggle stolen plans to the rebellion and transform into Mack trucks and even repel alien invaders. But the Robo Games in San Francisco is dedicated to proving that robots can be so much more. We're here at SF State for the 2005 Robo Games. It's a little competition that brings the best engineers from throughout the country right here to compete. And, uh, well, not to be outdone, here at Attack of the Show, we've created our own little robot that's going to give the competition a run for their money. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Attack of the Showbot. Here to help us make a little sense of all the, the servos and rust and metal and metallic noises is the founder of Robo Games. David, tell me about the, the events today. Uh, the events uh, are across the board. We've tried to get all of the major robot competitions. We have robot soccer, two different types. Um, robot sumo, robot combat, which everybody knows from those famous TV shows. Right. I saw some of the art bots. Um, a lot of them are made out of old lamps and old... Uh, I didn't even know what they're made out of. There's a lot of old stuff turned into new robots, and it's kind of a cool sort of uh, contrast there. I think this is definitely an internet fetish. And if it's not, it needs to be. The most exciting thing is probably Robo Ones, which are walking androids, mostly uh, Japanese robots. They're not mass marketed, they're strictly home built. Uh, so this is the first time this has ever been displayed in public, so uh, bear with me. Can we get him to dance? I'm sorry, one second. This, this is a prototype. He's not doing. He's not doing anything. What was that? You look at me, damn it! What was that? I can't be mad at you. <laughs> sorry. Robotics isn't so much a science unto itself as it is uh, cross disciplines, you know? So, for example, the combat guys are really brilliant machinists and they're really good at power consumption, but they're not very good at, say, sensors or artificial intelligence. The soccer guys are really, really good at artificial intelligence. The sumo guys are good at sensors. So, one of the goals is to really get them to cross pollinate and uh, talk to each other. Oh! This is how it works. We're behind the scenes here. Robo games, mm -hmm. no rules, no money. Just playing for pride. Stay low, center of gravity, you get up there and you win! You win, boy! Come on, attack of the show, bot! Go, buddy! Get him! Get him! You suck, I hate you! If you want to make it up to me, you'll do good in battle bots. That's the spirit. We have a hobby weight, featherweight, those are the pansy robots. Oh, they're so boring to watch. There's no projectiles allowed, is that true? No projectiles, that's right. You can't carry a shotgun into the arena strapped onto a uh, robot. Uh, you can't have a flamethrower, though. Nice. Flamethrowers flame are legal. No entanglement weapons, no corrosive weapons. I uh, know so you're no going to. fun, really. Yeah. <laughs> really. For attack of the showbot, this is it. That's your competition right there, Showbot. Will it be the Showbot or Super Megabyte? There we go. There we go, go Showbot. Go, baby, go. Come on. Go. Get him, Showbot. Use your claws. Use your claws. Oh, it's my god. It's not down yet. Oh, my god, Showbot. Oh, my god, Showbot. Get him. Get him. Oh, my god, Showbot. Get him. That's how it goes down at the old Robo Games 2005. <laughs> Damn spinner bot spinning around. I didn't even get the service plan. Ooh. Sorry. We'll be right. We'll be, we'll be right back. Okay. It's okay. Too hard to say it's over. Still I regret losing you We never got to dance You never took the chance I never got to touch Your heart 
to show how much you never got today.